Hallo, hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einer wundervollen neuen Folge von What Remains of Edith Finch. Schön, dass ihr wieder mal eingeschaltet habt. Wir legen auch gleich los. Wir haben leider wieder mal zwei große Verluste erlebt. Einmal der Georgery, der nur ein Jahr alt wurde und in seiner Badewanne beim Spielen leider ertrunken ist. Und den Sam, der beim Jagen von einem Hirsch vom Fels runtergeschubst wurde, weil er ein Foto davon machen wollte mit seiner Tochter oder so. Ja. Na gut, schauen wir uns die Geschichte von Gus an. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Hui, das macht ja auch Spaß, Drachen zu fliegen. Wenn der schon mal oben ist. Oh, wir haben hier die Statue und so, ne? Ich habe so ein bisschen das Gefühl, dass die umfällt und ihn trifft. Nicht gut. Aha. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea and foam. But I didn't. Until we found you. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. <lacht> Sag mal, haben wir Eddie irgendwie übersprungen? Weil irgendwie immer weiter nach oben arbeiten, aber Eddie fehlt irgendwie noch, gell? Mal schauen. Eine Sprossenmann. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. Okay. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Das kann gut sein. Ja dann meistens irgendwie my mom moved to India a week Kunst. after graduation and got a job teaching English. Louis was born a year later. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. And to see kids in the house again. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good, almost normal. <laughs> But it didn't last. The beginning of the end was Milton's tenth birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Aha. Also, she spricht auch die ganze vom Edie, ne? After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Also, mm -hmm. Aber schon schick, wenn man so Häuser bauen kann, ne? Have another painter in the family. <lacht> Boah, schick. Also sonst immer hätte ich auch gern gehabt. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Durchgehen. Der Zauberpinsel. I was four when Milton disappeared. Aha. Also mich wundert es, dass wir. Then she sealed the doors. Mich wundert es echt, dass wir nicht Eddie, nichts von Eddie wissen. Ne? Wir haben hier, hier, zack, 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 sind wir da. Da fehlt ja auch noch, das ist ja auch eigentlich weiter vorne. Ne? Aber vielleicht spielt das keine Rolle, keine Ahnung. Schauen wir mal. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Müssen wir denn Schön, Schönes Zimmer, also wirklich. Cool. Jetzt macht das Ganze auch Sinn, ne? Warum das so komisch aussieht. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Louis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Hm. 
Levis. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room. Except Lewis. 2010, das war ja dann auch so das Datum, wann wir hier weggegangen sind. Das ist ja mal ein Haus hier mit so Boot. Na, nicht wieder zumachen. Na? Wenn wir dazu machen. Auf, auf geht's. Hau, rock. Was machst du denn? Ja, irgendwie komisch. Kann ich mal sich schieben? Ah, so rum. Okay. Komisch. Na gut. Na, grab mal rein, hä? Ich guck. Was so. Ah! Falsche Tasten. <lacht> so, okay. Oh. Hat ja irgendwie was. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Mariana, ne? <lacht> Menschen, die Mariana rauchen. Viel Mariana rauchen. Äh, die, der, den Geruch erkenne sogar ich. So, was haben wir hier? Wonderland. Tubo, ne? So gerne gezockt. Boah, stell dir mal so ein Zockerzimmer vor. Wie geil ist das denn? Louis und ich spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. <lacht> da geht's nicht weiter, noch nicht. Na gut, dann schauen wir mal, was mit Levis passiert ist. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew part mm, of himself. Mmm, job. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... ...wander. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats and toads. Okay. And things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. Beides gleich, das ich weiß, es war komisch. But he found something more. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. Wenn wir so mal sonst machen, den ganzen Tag hier sowas, ne, das macht einen doch gaga. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Das ist ja mal so makaber. Aber es ist wieder witzig, ne? Diese Ideen hier.
Then he made musicians. And songs began to play. Das war ein Videospiel, den er im Kopf abspielte. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the camp. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. Oh. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. So creative, this game. Let's be more responsible. Conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Louis kept sailing on. Krass. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a beautiful prince. Konnten wir uns da jetzt entscheiden, oder? The prince was on his own quest for sinister serpents. He followed the sound of his. Electric sitar. Nein, nicht erwischt. Ich weiß nicht, wie wichtig das ist. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was a place of magic. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. Mm-hmm. That's a good sign. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him.
sollten wir, glaube ich, in der Fischerei, oder? Began to forget the world we know. Es könnten die Drogen sein. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Nee, warte mal, wir sind, wir sind, nee. Das ist, glaube ich, Levis. Und das ist... He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Das ist der, den wir gerade gespielt haben. Das ist der Levis, ja. Hey du. Was sollen wir machen? Was die Maschinen anhalten? Ohne da hoch. I still oh. thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. Hey, danke schön. Ich bin der König. Calico had insisted on inviting him. Was Glückskatze? Sie ist aber auch ein Ohrwurm hier. So, bevor wir zum König gekrönt werden, liebe Leute, <lacht> wir sind am Ende dieses Videos. Mann, 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 was, was ist das für eine Familie? Krass, gell? Wahnsinn. Das wünscht mal keinem. Liebe Leute, wir sind im nächsten Video. Schaltet ein! Wie der Levest zum König gekrönt wird. Oh. <lacht> Bis dann.